Hello friends, Peter is back and we pre-recording something here because I'm going to go away, I'm going to be away many days, but now we talk about self-steering. Most, both with small crews or even single hand have self-steering. Here's some books and this is by John Bletcher. This is the best book. It's a friend of mine. But now it's dead. But it's a very good book. He was a very smart guy. He's a doctor from Caltech, California Institute of Technology. And he said, my, in mathematics, I was always <laughs> one year ahead of my classmates. And that's okay if you are in a small school, you know, but if you're at Caltech, and always one year ahead of the other ones. And his father was smart, he was a general and uh, with guns, artillery. And he led the bombardment of Iwo Jima, he told me. And even his ancestors was old people. Now, I don't have self-steering on my boats. I don't have a wind vane, I don't have electric pilot, but my boat, they go straight as arrows anyway because I balanced them. And uh, 1969, I made my first ocean crossing in, uh, well, we can see here, in this schooner. Where are we? 1969 and I was steering and steering and then I tried to do not so much work and then somehow it kept going pretty straight so I locked the rudder and it was old steamboat from 1885 and then in the 1940s or something like that they took out the engine and I put in a diesel engine and to the weight, the steam engine was so heavy, so they put in the weight in the front of the boat. Concrete, the pole concrete. But in the Canary Islands, with much work, I got all this concrete out. And I got lighter in the front, and I found that it sailed much better. And then, I sailed all the way down to Brazil. And so it was okay. And then, the next boat. The sand was on our south steering. It was this. It was the first breeze. And uh, here she is too. And uh, I sailed many, many times across the Atlantic and everywhere and no self steering. I balanced them. And now I should be on the Monday, maybe on the Monday. Here. With this one, going downwind, have one side here and one side here. And if it goes like this, more wind here. That's, and I take this down. To, and then go this, this goes that way. So it kind of helps it. But on the wind, take away this. So it looks like this. But when the wind comes in, the boat heels over, like this. And then the driving force is outside the boat. And the resisting is this way. So the boat kind of turns up that way, to the wind. And then the wind goes out of the sail. And it goes up. And then it falls down again. So if you can balance these forces, it's going to be fine. And now also, I have a center board here in the front, so when I want to go up to the wind, I pull down the center board, I can take it up. So with little things like this, and also, they say the masts are short, 
And when the boot tips over, if you have a tall mast, that force goes more from the outside. You've got a bigger movement and you, and also the hull is balanced. So when it's here, but you know, most boots are like uh, flat iron. And when they heal, they kind of go like this and that disturbs the whole thing. So, and there is a race going on now called Golden Glue Race. Single handed sailors going around the world and they have self steering and the self steering breaks down and many people they have to give up because of that. Many voyages they have to stop because of this problem with the self steering. But now I can have a clean back and I don't have to worry about anything of like that. So this is a little about the self steering. Thank you.